With the Royal Wedding just around the corner, we at International Jewellery London want to find out what this means for the jewellery industry. So we're here today at Kensington Palace, where inside you can see jewellery from one of our exhibitors, Clog Eye, speaking to some experts to find out what they have to say. Jewellery is so important to royal weddings, it really is. It's all about romance, it's all about beauty, and also it's all about royal history and family tradition, because you always see in royal weddings a piece of jewellery being repurposed, recycled for the new royal bride. Wedding parties are fantastic because you get all generations. So you get the young, you get the old, you get fashion, you get classic, you get you know big diamonds, but then you get like cord earrings, so it's just a complete mixture. And what I really like is the fact that jewellery and bracelets were what gave us the first clue that Prince Harry and Meghan were together because there was a beaded bracelet that both of them were wearing, one on Meghan's Instagram and Prince Harry on the cover of a magazine and that's what gave us the clue. So I really like that, that Meghan and Harry, the first clue to this amazing whirlwind romance, we got it through jewellery. I think people have become really excited about what jewellery can be and uh, the amount of thought that Harry's put into his piece for Meghan and the diamond from Diana's wedding and then sourcing the other diamonds have made people really excited about the possibilities of what jewellery can mean. So what meant so much to me when I saw Kate Middleton on her wedding day, fabulous dress, yes, but Kate Middleton was also wearing Princess Diana's sapphire diamond garrard engagement ring, this beautiful piece that was given to her on her engagement, and Prince William had inherited from his mother when she died, and he kept it and gave it to Kate because, as he said, he wanted his mother to be a part of the ceremony. I think there has been a trend with coloured stones. Um, I think that Kate wearing the big sapphire Eugenia with the pink, pink sapphire. I think that it's kind of quite classic designs, but coloured stones with diamonds around the sides um, have become a lot more fashionable. A royal bride doesn't have to wear any pieces. What she tends to wear are tiaras and earrings, because often the bridal gowns are quite high-necked. Tiaras are quite a recent addition to royal weddings. They are very important, but what they signify is they are really a type of crown jewels. A royal wedding does influence jewellery trends. Um, people become really excited about what they're going to wear, um, and you know everybody talks about the Meghan sparkle, and I think that sort of exuberance and excitement comes across in jewellery that people will be commissioning and wearing, and they want it to have the same sort of pertinence. The bridal market continues to flourish and it can't be denied that a royal wedding helps. International Jewellery London sees bridal jewellery in all its finery, from classic to contemporary and all the in-between, saying it with fine jewellery still counts.